Welcome to the vlog. <laughs> so, me and Amy are just at Kelvin Grove Art Gallery and museum. This is the floating heads. We're hanging over a balcony as per living on the edge. <laughs> challenges to you as an artist as well as to the audience. Um, so to start at the very beginning, museums and collections have been consistently important to me. Um, some images there of the beautiful Dick Institute in Kilmarnock East Ayrshire. Um, I grew up in the countryside just around there. So that was my first love. Um, they have an amazing library and exhibition space, but when I was Kids, um, hanging out there on Saturday afternoons. It was the natural history selection um, and collection and display that I was most drawn to. There was something about the kind of feral 70s childhood of kicking around in streams and fields and um, sort of having that kind of relationship with nature and then seeing those very same specimens pinned and preserved and presented under glass and classified that really sort of got me hooked. Um, my second love beneath um, is the Hunterian Anatomy Collection, part of Glasgow University. Um, it was a bequest um, established in 1803 from the Scottish anatomist William Hunter. Um, when I was a student at Glasgow School of Art all these decades ago, um, when there was a lot of emphasis on life drawing and I was really intrigued by life drawing and a kind of relationship with the representation of the body. <coughs> I was absolutely terrible at it, um, but there was something about that representation of the body that intrigued me. Um, we did have a relationship there with the Anatomy Museum and it was close to the public who were allowed to go there and draw. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> What's your favourite thing about art school, Amy? Mm. Just seeing you every day. My 
favorite thing is nothing because I don't come. <laughs> What's the worst thing about art school? Mm, when you don't come at everything. Who's your favorite chair? <laughs> <laughs> what did you do before you came to art school? I went to college wow. as well. What did you do at college? What, oh what my god, why do I feel like you don't know me? I actually don't know what you did at college. I don't know what like course you did at college. Oh god. <sighs> it's because I'm not that your biggest fan. <laughs> You're my biggest fan. <laughs> what did I do? You were done HND in contemporary art. Shit. What did you do? <laughs> Don't tell oh. everyone. <laughs> I'm alright then. Yeah. Hmm. What did you do though? And you worked at McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm not going to tell you. You should know. That's um. So you've done a HNC. Yeah. In art. <laughs> yeah, art and design. <laughs> Just in <and> art. <laughs> I know what you made though. That sculpture thing on the table. Yeah. And some wire things. <laughs> um, I don't know. What's your advice for anybody applying for art school? No, no. What? what? <laughs> Same. What's your advice for anyone with an interview coming up for art school? Just be yourself, you know. <laughs> Just be you, boo. <laughs> I thought you were saying earlier that you have to have a speciality. No, not. What is it? Something that makes you unique. Something that makes you unique. Yeah. So, like, Amy's from the Netherlands. <laughs> Amy's foreign. I'm a foreigner. <laughs> and that makes her so unique <laughs> because no one else is from anybody else. <laughs> The only one that's ever lived in another country. True. D. I need to tell you. Bye. <laughs>